Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to demonstrate to you how SharePoint page co-authoring works. It's actually a pretty cool feature that we now have in SharePoint. Uh, and it allows um, two or more users to work on the same page at the same time. Now, we had co-authoring capability on our regular files for many, many years. We can co-author Word documents, Excel documents, you know, PowerPoints, uh, you know, etc. Uh, but uh, page co-authoring, uh, that feature was not available in SharePoint up until recently. As a matter of fact, it was a pretty painful experience if, let's say, you know, one user started editing the page, the other user was locked out. So it would just give them a warning message telling them, hey, hey, you cannot edit the page because someone else edit is editing the page. So essentially one user at a time, um, that's how we, we could uh, edit pages in the past, uh, not anymore. So uh, Microsoft recently uh, implemented uh, uh, SharePoint page co-authoring feature, and I absolutely love it. Uh, and I think it improves uh, productivity and communication. So let me demonstrate to you how it works. So uh, I'm doing this split screen over here. So on the left, I have this HR uh, site, and I'm logged in as myself. And then on the right, it's the same site, but you know, Mary is logged in uh, on this screen. And from security standpoint, just to let you know, uh, I'm the owner and uh, Mir is the member. So as long as you're a member, you can edit documents and you know pages and add, edit, delete content. So that's exactly what we are going to do. So uh, let me do this. Let me start editing the page over here. So I'm logged in as Greg here. And uh, I'm going to start editing this uh, page just like that. Let me maybe delete this. Perfect. And I'm going to do the same on Mary's screen right now. All right, so Mary has also decided to edit the page at the same time. Uh, let's click edit and let's see what happens. So let me show you a few things will happen. So first of all, uh, immediately you can see that, you know, you, you know, you have been notified immediately that you're not the only one on the page. It will display the profile uh, of, um, you know, of the other users too. And whatever you're doing here, you are constantly notified what's happening. So uh, I'm logged in as Mary. I'm going to click on this quick links. Maybe I want to add a link or something. Look at this. On the left-hand side on my screen, it actually tells me that, you know, Mary, you know, is doing something on this. All right. Um, let's go ahead and maybe delete this module. Just like that. Delete it here. But look at this. I get constantly notified what is happening. So it says Mary deleted this uh, Quick Links web part. So you are instantly notified, which is great. And whatever you do, whatever you do, let me maybe uh, make uh, some changes uh, in here. Let me uh, just, uh, you know, maybe add some text in here again. You see, you're constantly notified what's, what's happening uh, pretty much in live uh, format. Um, and uh, let me now publish. So let's just say, you know what, uh, Mary is happy with the changes. She deleted some stuff, maybe moved some stuff, added some stuff. Uh, let's now republish. So I'm going to click republish on uh, Mary's screen. And it does recognize the fact that others are still, because I'm still in the edit mode, right? So, but uh, because Mary is trying to publish, it will publish it for everyone, even for me. So essentially, that's what this warning is all about. It's warning uh, Mary that, you know, if you publish, whatever maybe I'm doing will not be saved. That's what it's saying. Let's publish and let's see what happens. Just like that, it's published, but look what happens on my screen now. Um, essentially, it says, you know what, I, I can probably expand it right now so you can see the full site. Uh, it tells me page published by Mary and you are taken out of the edit mode all right because again you know as long as one person publishes it publishes it for everyone it kicks other users out and um if i want to continue making changes um i just need to press you know the edit button again and start making changes now uh, let's see what happened to the version history um it pretty much works the same way as um with the documents so if i go to version history just like that um, essentially, one version was uh, created, even though both of us uh, were there uh, for some time, for a few minutes. But 
you know, because um, the the user only published once, right? Only one revision was created. And it pretty much spells out uh, essentially everything that happened during that revision. If I were to make some changes, you know, with Mary, then it would register my changes here as well. But it tells me here, um, everyone here, that uh, Mary deleted this web part, added some text, uh, and so on. All right. So that's essentially how co-authoring works. Really powerful feature that we now have. Uh, pretty much a very, you know, I've been using this feature for a while now. Pretty seamless uh, feature. Definitely a great addition to the SharePoint world. And that's all really I wanted to show you in this video. So hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.